welcome back everyone, Twitch is here, and I am back again with something brand new from Jank Specific. They sent over some press samplings of their new line from Bendy and the Ink Machine, the survival horror game that's a little bit Disney, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of bit of iWorks, but... Bendy will be of the four main characters released in Wave 1. It actually has some really nice packaging, although that's going to set you back a little bit more than what Jax usually does. These are going to run about $15 a piece. But equally, yes, the packaging is nice. And on the backside, you get to see Bendy with his choo-choo train and stand. A little bit more articulation with these as well. Four figures in Wave 1, like I said, the Ink Demon and Audrey will also be a part of this wave. And here's the barcode. These will be exclusive to Walmart and are starting to kind of trickle in, but look for them in the coming weeks. Now, his wave mate will be Tom, which... <laughs> Kind of looks like Goofy, you know what I'm saying? But he's got a mechanical arm and one heck of a giant axe. It's going to be the same type of box, same type of imagery on all sides and the back side. But you get a little bit more about Tom, his axe, and his backdrop. And likewise, here's the barcode for Tom, so you can check them in stores when they start to hit. So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new part of Wave 1 for Bendy and the Ink Machine, along with some Bendy plushes by Jack Specific. And while I got all you ink machines here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like creepy survival horror video game toys. Like Bendy and the Ink Machine. So here's everything out of the packaging. You get a figure, a stand, a backdrop, and an accessory, along with a lot of articulation. In case of Tom, you get this really cool looking mechanical axe, all kind of uh, parts out kind of deal, but it looks kind of cool and it has a really nice wash to it, yellow with some of that inky drips, and I totally dig that. However, on the blade, it looks like Janks had to pull back just a little bit and not paint the black goop as to kind of hint at the bloody nature of it. The stand is in the shape of Bendy's head, which is a nice touch. I kind of like that. It has one peg hole, and on the back side, you get to read all about Jack Specific and where they are in Santa Monica. Now, the backdrop, it is cardboard. It is a thick cardstock. It's not flimsy, so that's cool. It's printed well. There's nothing on the back. I am not a fan of cardstock backdrops. I like plastic and such, but one thing I want to point out here is that they didn't put the teeth where you would stick this backdrop into the stand. That way, this is going to be mind-blowing, it doesn't chew up the bottom of the cardboard. So thank you, Jax. They did it. Look how easy that was. It's not my favorite accessory, but at least it is a nice backdrop, along with Tom. And now, this is where these figures get interesting. I will say this. I'll tell you, to be honest with you, these aren't really my thing. I'm not going to necessarily go after these. I went for the original Bendy and the Ink Machine when Fat Mojo were doing them. Those will show up in this video as well. But what I like to see here is that the black parts of the figure look like dried ink and wet ink all in the same go. It varies between the various parts of the figure. And then you have the yellow parts, which then have a more dirtier, inky wash to them, which is quite cool, I will say. Now, each figure only has one peg hole. That's what fits it on to the stand. You get a lot of articulation for this type of character. And I will say, again, the backside has a really nice texture of dried ink. It's really cool what they've done here. They've instituted texture along with a movable action figure, and for that, that's a nice upgrade to what Fat Mojo had done in the past. You get single jointed elbows, pinless, a little bit of a waist swivel, which is kind of nice, even though because of the parts of his suspenders and his clothes, 
It will break it up when you want to move him, but at least you have that option. In the case of the robotic arm, you have single jointed robotic arm, you have a bicep swivel as well, and of course the hands will rotate. But again, while it's the same articulation on both sides, it's a little bit of a different mechanic being one side is more organic and then you have inorganic. The legs will kick up about yay high, not really gonna go back at all for those interested. He has a thigh swivel, kind of breaks up the parts of the figure though, just keep that in mind, and he has ratcheted knees, single jointed, but again, everything is pinless with then the feet being on a ball joint. So they're not necessarily gonna swivel in that sense, but they will kind of rock a little bit side to side, but more so up and down. So again, I'll reiterate, for a character such as this, I would say they've gone above and beyond in terms of all the articulation. In terms of Bendy, now, he comes with his little choo-choo train, which has that kind of mustardy yellow with some black accents. Now, there's not gonna be anything on the bottom, and it's very scarce with the type of paint that it's using for the accents, but it works very well. The backdrop, it'll be a little bit different, but largely the same in the feel of it. Again, you have the bendy head-shaped stand, the one peg on there, and then the backdrop fits in very snugly, but doesn't damage anything. Now, in the terms of bendy, out of the two figures we're looking at today, bendy reigns supreme. He's creepy looking, he has Beautiful paint every which way. He's got that peg hole on the bottom, just the one, just FYI. But the head itself, like I said, it looks like wet and dried splotchy ink. That is also to say that the head also kind of feels like those ball antennas that you would put like from Jack in the Box. It has that feel to it. It's a little bit of a chintzy feel, if I'm being honest, not as like a sturdy plastic as the rest of the body. It's incredibly lighter, it is hollow, so it has that, yeah, this looks good, but then it also kind of feels, eh, kind of like a golf ball texture as well. Does it work in terms of making a creepy looking inkified figure? It does. So in that sense, yes, I'm totally satisfied with the way they've done this. One hand will be a little bit bigger than the other so you can hold the choo-choo train. However, you can fit the choo-choo in both hands. Nothing at the waist. The legs will kick out, yeah, about that much. And he has really nice pinstripe line work, which is cool. Again, single jointed, knees ratcheted, and the hands and the feet are on ball joints. So again, it's not gonna be the typical rotating swivel kind of deal. It's more so like you're moving a figure's head around but it works and they're stable and everything looks really good. I like the shine on this bendy as well. They've really emphasized the look of ink and for that alone, I'll give you a little applaud there, Jack Specific. Now, if you're wondering how tall are these suckers, well, they're gonna be around their Super Mario four inch line, their Sega Genesis Sonic the Hedgehog line, Streets of Rage kind of line, so that'll fit in with your nice video game collection if you have one along with, let's say, Diamond Select or Jada Toys. They're gonna be, of course, a little bit smaller. However, I do have most of the original Fat Mojo offerings for Bendy and the Ink Machine, and these will scale with these new Jack Specific and vice versa, because they're pretty much the exact same figures, but now Jax has really taken advantage of not only the ink look, but articulation as well. So it's nice to go from more of this classic black and the white, very simplistic, to now this more upgraded, more action figure articulated designs. And just to kind of show you a few more of the Fat Mojo offerings, which were cool in and of itself. I am more so a fan of what Bendy and the Ink Machine is on a design perspective. I've played the game a few times. I can't necessarily say it's my thing, but I like the character designs, what it reminds me of. It's very old timey while also being incredibly creepy. Now, if you are a fan of Bendy, but not of action figures, fear not, Jack Specific will be producing some plushy type Bendy and the Ink Machine characters such as Tom and Bendy. So these again, 
will be at Walmart stores if you are interested. This will actually be part of a larger offering from Jack Pacific in the future as they touted at WonderCon during the reveal. They have a proposed Bendy and the Ink Machine movie coming out. There's a new video game coming out. So everything will kind of be leading up to this. So it's all some nice tie-ins for those of you who are out there who are fans of Bendy and the Ink Machine. But I can safely tell you, again, while it's not necessarily my thing, thing. They are pretty well-made action figures, and again, I really like what they did with incorporating all the ink, but you won't find any of that ink on any of these nice plushes. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Jack Specific Bendy and the Ink Machine action figures, part of Wave 1 at least, Bendy and Tom. Be on the lookout at your local Walmart. These should be hitting store shelves relatively soon. I'm going to tell you the price point might be a little bit high. Yes, they are well made. They look good. But I like Jacks when they're more in that Super Mario realm of $10 to $12. That's where I like to see my Jack specific. And I kind of mentioned that when they did the Super Mario movies, when they went a little bit too much with the 20 you know what I'm saying there? So keep it around that mark, but don't go too crazy. I like where you're at, Jack Specific. And I think that if you're a fan of Bendy and the Ink Machine, you're probably going to dig these. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Bendy and the Ink Machine. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yeah, this is a horror game, right? In the, in the vein of FNAF and all that jazz. And it is marketed to children. <laughs> Hey, we had RoboCop and aliens back in the day. It's not that big a deal. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.